Sorry, I got distracted by a car alarm that's been going off for like two freaking days and it's annoying. I swear, I think it goes off if anyone touches it or if even the wind blows on it. But hi guys. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. It is now one o'clock. I didn't vlog this morning because I was kind of running a little bit late. But yeah, I had um, microbiology. I had, what class did I have first? Oh yeah, health and wellness. And had band and now I'm back in my room. Just gonna try to chill out for a little bit before I go to physics lab. Um, so yeah, things are good. And what I found interesting last night, I usually go to bed around 9.30 or 10 o'clock because 9.30 is when I take my meds. So by the time I take my meds, I'm usually pretty tired. Usually mentally tired more than physically. And my roommate asked me this morning if I'm okay. So I asked her why. And apparently it's not normal to go to sleep that early. Cause she's like, I know you go to bed around 10. And I'm just like, eh, well, I don't know. Cause I felt fine. Normally if I'm extremely tired, I'll go to sleep earlier. But usually when I go to, when I say I go to bed, I usually am laying on my phone, laying playing on my phone for like about an hour. And I'll go to bed and I'll sleep around 11, sometimes 10 o'clock. So it just depends. But yeah, I'm just gonna chill, maybe do some homework before going to physics lab. So I'll check in with you guys later. It's been about two hours or so. No, about an hour. And I've done nothing. I sat and watched a couple of YouTube videos. And now I'm needing to do homework, but I'm feeling tired and right now I could tell it's mental exhaustion where my body feels physically like, yeah, we could do this, but my brain's like, no, I'm too sleepy. And I absolutely hate mental exhaustion because to me it's worse than physical exhaustion because your mind controls so much of your body than your body does your mind. So it's just really, really tiring. Uh, I really need to get some work done, but I just want to fall asleep. Anxiety can be a pain sometimes. So I have finally gotten myself motivated to get up and work on some homework. Right now, that homework is rewriting my notes from microbiology. Here, I'll show you the list of the homework I have today. And it's just rereading and rewriting notes. This is what I normally do. But it's only about, um, yeah, it's only this the first part of the page and it back to it. Yeah, there is. But, guys, you don't understand how much mental energy this is already pulling knowing that I have to write this. Like, I rewrite it because it helps me to memorize my stuff for tests, but I can feel it sapping away what me little mental energy I have right now. And then I have to go do physics lab. So... This is one of the many fun things about having a mental illness and being in school is that they both compete for your mental energy and you either give up to one of them or you just push forward until you feel like you need to collapse. Right now what I do is I just push forward. I know that I have no choice. I need to do this because um, my anxiety wants me to get it done before my lab which is in about an hour. And, yeah, just, my brain feels so tired. Oh, yeah, and I got to do APT later, which, I don't know. I need to do it, but I'm already thinking that I'm going to be exhausted by then. <sighs> I hate mental exhaustion. I really do. It's like chronic fatigue before your brain. And it gets really annoying, especially when you have things that you need to get done. So I was wrong. My lab's at 3 o'clock. I've got 20 minutes to get over there. So looks like homework won't get finished until later. But I just got to get my mental energy to stay for my physics lab. So I'll check in with you guys later. Hey guys, so I just came out of physics lab, which took forever. Oh my gosh. So now I'm about to go do some APT. Even though my brain is really tired, I still need to go and do it and hopefully go eat dinner with Ariel later. Um, I do eventually plan on taking you guys with me on an APT adventure. Just see what it's like to do APT. And you guys can do it too. Like, if you want to, 
submit videos or tag videos to me of you doing APT. Join the APT army. And it'll be lots of fun. So I'm about to go get dressed now and go work out. So I will check in with you guys later. Hey guys, so it's like, I think 10.30 something at night. Um, so I went and did my APT, which was good. Um, I got a little frustrated because after 25 minutes of working hard in the elliptical, my body and my mind were telling me to stop because they were both getting very fatigued. I was getting kind of annoyed, but I decided, okay, whatever. And I finished my last five minutes by walking around outside in the cold. So I at least got my 30 minutes in. And then I went and ate with Ariel, and we met up with two other friends. Their names are Allie and Square. Yes, one of them goes by Square. That's just how she is. And then we ended up going to their room and playing a bunch of Truth or Dare. So all in all, it was an exciting night. Had even met some new friends and just had a really great night. So that's wonderful. Well, this vlog is going to be pretty short too because I didn't think I'd be out as long as I was. And ta-da, I was out for a good while. But it was worth it. So now I'm about to get pajamas on and probably work on the homework I needed to before I head off to bed. So good night everyone and I will see you tomorrow.